Hi, in this video, I'm gonna talk about oil painting on a budget. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better faster. All right, so the common problem I hear people talking about is they wanna practice oil painting, but in order to practice, you need to buy materials. In order to buy materials, you need money, so you need to spend money to practice and all the information that they're getting from other oil painters online is the stuff that they use to complete full commission big gallery paintings but what do you do if you just want to practice uh, but you still want to have good quality materials that you're not spending a lot of money on uh, well that's what i'm going to answer today the first thing i'm going to go over is what you paint on uh, your canvas there's many different things you can paint on you can paint on stretch canvas you can paint on linen oil prime linen acrylic prime, uh, masonite boards, panels, blah, 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 blah. The best thing, get a large canvas pad, a big one. I'm talking, you know, as big as you can get, the better, and you can do multiple things on it. That's what I did when I, for the first oil painting class I took, got one, do small little studies all over it. You know, it's not for full complete pleated paintings that you're gonna frame and hang on your wall. You need something that you can practice on. I got a link in the description to some great canvas pads that you can buy on Amazon. I know, I know a lot of people, they like painting on canvas. Uh, if you can afford it, uh, you can find, you know, if you come across a sale, uh, a lot of times on uh, Jerry's Artorama, they have good sales. You can buy six of them for very cheap, but still, if you're starting out for practicing, like you wanna be able to practice a lot and you wanna have that freedom of practicing and not be like, oh, I spent, $15 on this one canvas, I better put something really good on it. Like you can't have that mindset. You need to have that. I need to be just burning these things out and not being afraid to mess up. And a canvas pad is perfect for that. All right, next is paint. Now I buy the uh, Windsor Newton oil colors. I like them a lot. Uh, the next step up is the Gamblin, which I have a few of those. So uh, I recommend buying that paint. It's a good quality without being too cheap. You don't want to go any lower than that. You don't want any water soluble stuff. Uh, this is a good quality for the price. Uh, I got some links to those on Amazon that you can check out below in the description. Uh, you can buy them at Michael's, you can use coupons, all that good stuff. Uh, I like to buy the big 200 milliliter bottles because in the long run it's cheaper. Also, I like to use a lot of paint. That's a mis common mistake a lot of uh, beginning oil painters do is they don't put out enough paint and therefore they're not gonna use a lot of paint and they're gonna be painting very timidly and sparingly and you don't want that. You wanna be really free, fast, open, just going at it when you're painting. You wanna make sure you have enough paint. You don't wanna keep stopping and adding more paint, adding more paint. So get the big tubes. Again, it's also cheaper in the long run. And as far as colors go, I always recommend starting out with the primaries. Uh, that's gonna be titanium white, ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow and cadmium red. Uh, if you want to expand after this, you can, but having just these uh, four colors, one, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Two, it's going to build a really strong foundation for colors because you're going to be able to learn how to mix from these basic colors. So you're going to create a really strong foundation of uh, color mixing if you do that. All right, now brushes. Uh, you can experiment with brushes that you buy at Michael's or these art stores and stuff. Um, I can't recommend any of those because I honestly don't use those. What I'd like to use is Rosemary & Co. brushes. I'll put a link to them in the description. Uh, they are the best brushes for the price. Also, you order them, they get delivered to you, so you don't have to make one less trip you have to make. And these really are the best bang for your buck, and they're really cheap. You know, some of the brushes are, you know, rarely do you have a brush unless you're getting a really big one that's, you know, over $10. They're all going to be pretty cheap. Uh, you have to pay, you know, they are located in England, so you have to pay shipping, but for me, it's so much worth it. Brushes is one of the things that you don't want to go really cheap on, or, you know, when I say cheap, I mean in terms of quality, because these brushes are cheap price-wise, but the quality is not cheap at all. They are very, very good. I don't get any money from them. They're not, they don't sponsor me in any way, so I'm, I'm just saying this because I really like these brushes, and when you get a good quality brush, it will last a long time. If you buy a brush for a dollar and it only lasts you two or three sessions and you're buying a new one, it's just not worth it. I recommend their uh, Ultimate Bristle, the basic brush. It's you know thick, it's strong, it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to load up the paint. They have a bunch of different kinds on there, 
but just stick with the um, the ultimate bristle uh, brushes, whichever size you're using, depending on how large you, you like to uh, work. Again, remember the rule, always use a bigger brush than you think you need. Uh, keep that in mind when you're buying brushes, but that's the, uh, the um, ultimate bristle brush. Uh, it's really thick because you need those thick, sturdy bristles to really handle uh, that heavy oil paint. So for Rosemary Co. brushes, it's gonna be your cheapest bet best quality you'll have those brushes for a while get those now lastly this is a special little thing and this is kind of linked into the brushes I just bought um, a lot of you if you're watching this video you've probably seen the draw mix and paint videos uh, with the Geneva uh, uh, fine art supplies that guy's always selling now this shows you that I'm really just trying to give you the best stuff because this is another painter on YouTube and I'm promoting his stuff that he's making money off of. I don't get a dime of this. I've never talked to that guy before in my life, but when I, there's a good product, there's a good product and his brush dip is amazing. I, every time I'm done painting, I just dip my brushes in this, set them aside and they're good for like a week. Like I don't have to do anything. I don't have to worry about the paint drying on my brushes uh, and ruining my brushes. Uh, this is great for lazy painters like myself who don't like to clean their brushes after every session. So yeah, this is going to cost money. I'll put a link to it in the description. But in the long run, it's worth it if it's going to save your brushes and keep you from having to buy new brushes. So uh, if you got the, uh, the money to do this, this brush dip I find is very, very worth it. And I mean, what it is, is it's a uh, clove oil. It's just an oil. It's not toxic or anything like that. You dip your brushes in it and the paint does not dry on your brushes for a very long time. When it's time to use them again, you just wipe them off some paper towel, a little bit of mineral spirits, and you are good to go. All right, so that's how I paint on a budget. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Hopefully it allows you to paint more often. Therefore, you can get better faster. Uh, if you have any other questions on oil painting, anything on materials, uh, saving money, anything like that, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, anything else you want to see a video made on with dealing with oil painting, uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a video on it. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, see what I'm painting on a daily basis at Forza43. I am Christopher Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.